You fidget slightly. A light flicks on, blinding you momentarily. Thick, itchy ropes bind you to the cold metal of the folding chair. It's humid, uncomfortably so. Behind you, you hear a clang. The security guard that brought you in closes the door behind him. Just before he goes, he gives you a look. Is it pity? You can't tell. In front of you is a terminal. As it slowly hums to life, words flash on its matte black screen. Item number, SCP-7270. Object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. You are the most important person in the world. At this time, you will be given a set of instructions, of which you are expected to read and understand fully. You will then execute the instructions in their entirety. Do not fail us. Our fate is in your hands. What? Is this a joke? We represent an organization known as the SCP Foundation. Operating clandestine and worldwide, our job is to protect the world against paranormal threats. Oh. Our mission is threefold. Secure anomalous objects from the eyes of the public, contain paranormal threats and keep them at bay, and protect humanity from any dangers the anomalous might pose. Beneath the words, images begin to appear on the terminal. They are grainy and pixelated, but you can make them out nonetheless. A massive lizard in an acid bath. A grey-skinned monster with its face blurred out. A... Vlava Hoprit? You can't make out the last one. The images disappear. A logo of three inward pointing arrows and a circle take their place. You have been chosen for this task because of the unique abilities given to you at birth. You possess the skills and fate required to complete this assignment. You are the most important person in the world. You certainly don't feel important. You feel like a prisoner right now, strapped to a chair. Somewhere very far away, a man in a suit stares at the sky. He watches as one by one, the stars blink out of view. He buttons up his jacket and steps back inside. Silently, he prays to whatever will listen that you hurry the fuck up. Description SCP-7270 is a pervasive anomalous phenomena manifesting as the destruction of human memories. It is propagated by a single deific gestalt consciousness located approximately two light years away in... What? In the event that the preceding paragraph did not make sense to you... Yep. Keep reading. Ah, uh, alright. 300 years ago, mankind stared into the sky and planned their dominion over the cosmos. Into the stars, they launched rocket after rocket after ungodly abomination, destined to take control of what was never theirs to begin with. They stood at the precipice of the abyss, and they mocked its gaze. You jump, or try to, at the sudden noise. What was that? A gun? A door? But it doesn't quite sound right. You try not to panic as you continue to read. For another 100 years, humanity continued to conquer the cosmos. We built ships, established colonies, and set up bases wherever our technology could allow. Our power grew, and with it, so too did our hubris. In 2103, we found a hole on the edge of the universe. A hole big enough to fit a man inside. One big enough to hide a god. Two weeks later, the Seraph MXI, loaded with a five-person crew and enough rations to last a week, took off and headed in its direction. After a year of constant communication with the vessel, suddenly, complete silence. The ship's own emergency systems went into override and brought the vessel hurling back towards Earth, hundreds of millions of miles a minute. Its arrival left a two-mile-wide hole in the center of the Atlantic Ocean. Inside the ship, we found four bodies, all heavily charred, all dead. A mark was burned onto their foreheads with near-perfect precision. The last member was nowhere to be found. The Three Arrow logo reappears on the screen. In our anger and hubris, we sent an entire fleet of ships back at the hole, armed to the teeth for battle. We couldn't stand what wasn't ours, and we feared what we did not understand. We acted rashly in revenge, and we paid the price for it. Humanity has continued to pay the price for a very long time. You're confused. What is it getting at? You are the price. Oh, fuck. You pull at the ropes binding you, to no avail. 
You shout for help, but there's no response. Only your echo cares enough to make a sound. The terminal continues to flash, cold and impersonal. Its words call your attention back to it. You stop, momentarily, in your bid for freedom to read what it has to say. Your instructions. As dictated in the biannual Protocol 7270 Atonement, your instructions are as follows. Failure to properly execute these instructions will result in termination. Do not fail us. You are the most important person in the world. Termination? You pay rapt attention. An agent will enter your holding cell momentarily and will remove your binds. You will follow the agent through the door and into the antechamber. There you will change into a set of clothes provided to you by the agent. You may not wear anything else. You will leave all your belongings in a plastic bag near the door. You may not take anything with you. In the distance you hear footsteps. They are getting closer. You sit up in your chair and continue to read. This will be the last time you are permitted to communicate with another human being. You may make any request to the agent concerning your friends and loved ones. The agent may accept or deny any of your requests for any reason. You will be asked to compose and sign a will. You may not select an executor. You are permitted to compose a message that will be distributed to your friends and loved ones, of which you may also provide a list. This message must be checked and approved by the Higher Council of Overseers, and may be edited to remove sensitive information. Fuck. Am I going to die? You didn't sign up for this. Fear threatens to take over your entire body, but you resist it. You're stronger than that. You continue reading. Once you are ready, the agent will open the door leading from the antechamber. You will walk through the hallway into a room containing a small capsule. You will enter the capsule and the agent will seal it shut. All windows and egress points will be closed. Once you are inside, you may feel a slight bumping as you are loaded into the rocket which has been prepared for you. Do not panic. You are the most important person in the world. The footsteps are getting closer now. Once inside, a set of IVs will be automatically inserted into your primary veins, which will provide constant hydration and nutrition to your body. Do not remove these needles. Fresh oxygen will be pumped into your capsule via a set of vents. Do not occlude the vents. You will need to be alive for the duration of the process. The screen clears. This is all the information you will need to know at this time. You will know what you need to do when the moment arrives. The end will not be painful. You are the most important person in the world. Light floods the room as the door behind you opens. You hear the roar of the spaceship prepared for you. You hear the buzz of hundreds of people scrambling to ready it for launch. You hear the man behind you as he approaches you in your chair. And somehow, you don't panic. You know this is necessary. We all make sacrifices. You are the most important person in the world. Successful completion of Protocol 7270 Atonement, Iteration 12, SCP-7270 Current Status, Contained. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Tannis Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.